welcome back to Dad Said We Could. I'm Jim, and today we're going to be finally doing some work on my 1975 Chevrolet K10. I got this truck back in May, and I was racing Henry on a dirt bike, and I blew the driver's side muffler. So today, we got these glass pack mufflers from a friend of ours. We're going to call them Papa Giordio. And we don't know what brand these are. They're just glass packs, from what we know. We don't know how they sound, except loud. So that's what we're hoping for. Loud's good, because then you can't sneak away. I was never planning on it. Really? Yes. Yeah. So what we're doing now is we're measuring to see if the truck part, which is this part right here, not the muffler, has the same diameter as the pipe treader on my truck. So we're going to measure that quick. What is it? 57 millimeters. Millimeters? Which would be 2.24 inches. Is that what it is? 2.24 inches. What is that in freedom fractions? 2.24 inches. Two and a... Two and a quarter. Quarter, that's right. Now I'm measuring how long the muffler is, so we can have an inch and a half, two inches of overhang, where we can clamp if we can, and weld if we have to. Alright, so under the truck, here's the hole that I blew in the muffler, right here. And while we're under here, we're also addressing and looking at other problems. For instance, my cab is riding about an inch and a half lower than the bed, and we looked at the mounts, and they are squashed. Terribly. Yep, that's what a bad cab mount looks like. And it's the same on the other side, too. Also... And then there's lots of fluids that show that the transfer case is leaking, but fix that later because I was planning on swapping transfer cases. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the 203, which is a full time transfer case. So if we find a 205, that gives a selectable four wheel drive. Which is so what I you want. can put it in two-wheel drive and, and do donuts and burnouts. That and get better fuel mileage. That too, I guess. When you're not doing burnouts and donuts. Eh. Anyway, what's the pipe diameter here? Uh, pipe diameter of the truck. On the truck side. Is 2.24. Which is what in freedom fractions? Two and a quarter. That's right. If you go to the parts store and ask for a section of exhaust pipe, they're gonna want that in fractions. So this is why it is important to learn both fractions and decimals while you're in school. Mostly freedom fractions. Okay. So. That is 2.24, so it is the same. All right, so what we did is we marked the places where we're gonna cut right here with tape and right over there on the other side with even more tape. And what we've decided is um, the hangers on the back, we do have those. Um, we're going to see if we can reuse those, because if we can, that'll save us some money. And we'll just take them off and flip them around backwards, because the glass packs we're putting on are longer than these so generic mess. mufflers. What we're doing is we're cutting off the old exhaust pipe, which is welded to the glass pack. So we're going to cut off these old welds, and then any pipe that is left in here, we can just hopefully pull out. Definitely blown out. That one, a lot of rattling in there, so it's on its way too. Living in the north. All right, so we're about halfway done. Um, we need to buy an expander kit because they're a hair off. They're... We have to expand yeah. the pipe on the mufflers just a little bit to make them fit. It's very annoying, but. I want to. I want to hear. I want to see what this sounds like without mufflers on. Open pipes cut off right behind the cab. Can't drive anywhere because half of the mufflers are dragging on the ground. So I'm just gonna start it up.
that sounds good. We have good. to get a stretching tool because the place where the factory made it so this pipe could slip in this pipe, we cut that off. And since we're using, we're using parts, we need to stretch it so it fits. So we're waiting on a tool. Trip to Harbor Freight tonight. Yep. But the exhaust hangers are up, right? Yep, that's good. Okay. Found it, we're at Harbor Freight. Found the expander we need. All right, let's get home and use it. Yep, okay, we're working on this. The muffler system. We got this Harbor Freight expander. Um, there's a plastic ring that goes at the top that holds it the expanding part from in from falling off. It fell off, so hard for it tools, hair and mess, but if it just works for this one time job, then it pays for itself. So we've already done this muffler to see if it works. It does fit on this. This is the pipe that we'll be attaching to. Hopefully this is done today, but we won't be able to take the truck out of the garage because a bunch of wood. Building project. Building project, yeah. So I'm gonna do this. on right there and it'll clamp this over that so it won't fall off. Okay, let's get the other end. Yeah. Those jobs will be much easier with a lift. Okay, don't make it tight. You want to leave some room for not. adjustment here, okay? Got it. Now we got to check something here, okay? Okay. This part of the exhaust, it looks like you made the clamp a little far, yeah, far forward. Yeah, it looks like that. Try twisting the muffler. Yep, too far forward. You're not pinching the pipe for its Yeah, I figured as much. Okay. First start with the new exhaust. project just took a while because we didn't have the right tools we got them all done today she's hooked back up she's not perfect um we found a spot in the passenger side rear muffler that um is still leaking and then on the same muffler at the front um one of the welds on the muffler is bad but that's okay because they were free and they work awesome so we're thank you papa giorgio we're just gonna weld those up yeah and now we're working on making our road legal so we can take her to family events and maybe the Halloween parade this year. Thanks for watching. Dad said we could.